Shalom, 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 Israel. First, give an honor to the most high and son, Yahweh uh, Shah. I do apologize for the technical difficulties here. Uh, again, man, today's class, Pride of Israel, a stumbling block for growth and a roadblock to Christ. Just let that title you know, sit on you for a second. Pride. Pride. A stumbling block. And a roadblock to Christ. Right. You know, pride will cause you to do a lot of things that's out of order. A lot of things that's frowned upon. A lot of things that'll put you in darkness. Pride will have you lying. Have you cheating? Have you stealing? Pride to have you hating your brother. That's right. But we're going to touch on these things, man. Pride. Let's get into it. Give me Romans 15 and 4. The book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever thing were written aforetime, were written for our learning. That was written for what, bro? For our learning. For what was the purpose? For our learning. They were written for our learning. So my question is, who's taking the time to read, to learn? Who's taking the time to get the information? Who's taking the time to build? Who's taking the time, man? He said, this is for our learning. Read. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures. That we through patience. Through patience and comfort of the scriptures, read. Might have hope. Might what? Might have hope. Again. Who's taking the time in to learn? Who's really trying to be all in, all in, all in? Because right now, man, ain't no love out here. That's right. Ain't no love in the streets. Ain't no hope for you. Ain't no nothing. Why not dive and get into God, man? Well, let's get into it. Give me First John two and one. Let me get that with you, baby. Book of First John, chapter two and verse one. Read that, bro. The book of First John, chapter two and verse one. My little children, these things write I unto you mm -hmm. that ye sin not. That ye what? That ye sin not. That we sin not. And pride is definitely on that list. Read. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Christ, the righteous. That is your hope right there. You have an advocate for your house, shall read. And he is the propitiation for our sins. Read. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Mm -hmm. Read. And hereby we do know that we know him. Hereby we do know that we know him. Read. If we keep his commandments. If we do what? If we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. Read. He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments. He that say I know him and walk not after Christ. Read. And keepeth not his commandments is a liar. Is a what? Is a liar. And we know that lying falls in line with that sin. That that pride falls in line with that sin. That that darkness. Read. And the truth is not in him. But whosoever keepeth his word. But whosoever keepeth his word. But whosoever follows after Christ. Read. In him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know. We that we are in him. Hereby we know that we are in him. If we are following, if we are adhering, if we are listening, if we are doing, read. He that said he abided in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. So we ourselves are saying that we abide in the power that we abide in Christ. We have to walk. As Christ, we have to follow that example that was set. Give me Philippians 2 and 1. 
Get there with you, boo. Read that. The book of Philippians, chapter 2, and verse 1. If there be, therefore, any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any comfort of love, read, if any fellowship of the Spirit, any fellowship of the Spirit, read, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy, that ye, that ye be like-minded, that ye be what? That, that ye be like-minded, that ye be like-minded, read, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. So that we are all on the same accord, that we are all on the same wavelength as Christ. Right. Read. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. Hold on, hold on. Read that part again, bro. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. Let nothing that you do be done through strife or vainglory. Where do you think that pride comes into play? That's right. Brothers want to have their preeminence. Brothers want their vain glory. Brothers want to be seen. Brothers in positions to, to have a little bit of power that they ain't never had out there in the world, man. And, it, and it's all vain. Because your mind not in the right place. Your spirit not in the right place. Brothers lose it. And then their whole spirit gone. Mm. Vain glory, read. But in lowliness of mind. But in lowliness of mind, read. Let let each esteem other better than themselves. So he say, read that part again, bro. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Let each esteem others better than himself. You know, the elder always say, man, you know, people so quick to say something bad, but... Can you say something good about the boo? Can you say something good about the sister? That's right. Immediately, man, Israel loved to go to controversy and, and BS. Can you tell me what this what, what, what good this person has done for you? How much love this person showed to you? How much this person extended their hand wanting, wanting to, to, to build relationships? Wanting to be that brew, wanting to be that sister. Trying to show that love. Read it again, bro. But in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things. Look not every man on his own things. Look not every man on his own things. Read. But every man also on the things of others. Be a lookout for your bro, man. Check on your brothers. Check on your sisters, man. Because in this walk, bro, it's not just you. That's right. It's not just you. If you call that person your brother, if you call that person your sister, if you call that person your brood, it's not just you. It's no longer selfish. You got a family, you got your wife, your children, it's no longer you. Come. Every man, every woman, every child, bro, is going to see Christ on their own. That's right. But before you get there, how you treat your brother. That's right. How you treat your sister. How you treat your family, bro. That's all going to be in accordance to that. So when that knee bow, when that mouth confess, just know that that's going to be on you. Right. So again, in this walk, man, it's not just you. Let your brother love on you. Let your sister love on you. Show that love to your brother. Show that love to your sister. Don't have that pride, man, because because things ain't going the way you wanted to, and now you're looking at everybody as an enemy, everybody that got the hatred. But you got pride that you ain't did no wrong. You got pride on you, like you you the bee's knees. Mm. That's how we rocking in Israel right now, right now, right now, still to this day. If you if you ain't in so and so so and so, you ain't got all the truth, nigga. That's pride. That's right. Because if you had all of the truth, then things would be a lot better. That's right. You wouldn't be bearing hatred towards your brother. You wouldn't be, be camp banging. You wouldn't be, be looking out a side eye and you bruise when brothers uh, uh, approach you to brew you up. Or you wouldn't be giving them the side eye, the stank lip, the turned up face. You wouldn't be doing none of that. Because Christ, if we follow his example, you think Christ treated his brothers like that? That's right. You think Christ treated his sisters like that? That's right. Even the people that sought to kill Christ. 
He still had that smile on his face for his brothers and sisters. That's right. You tell me, bro, can you do that? But yet, we think ourselves to be everything, but we nothing. Read, bro. Verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. Who, who mind was this also in? Also in Christ. Who mind, bro? Also in Christ. That this same mind state Christ had. So let us have that same mind. Christ ain't had it pride, bro. Matter of fact, give me, before we move on, give me Proverbs 6 16. Read that when you get that book. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, and verse 16. These 16 doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination okay. unto him. These things, these six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination. So let's see what's the first thing that come out, bro. Read. A proud look. A what? A proud look. A what? A proud look. He said a proud look, read. A lying tongue. A what? A lying tongue. Read. And hands. That's shed innocent blood. So you tell me, bro, can pride cause you to lie? Can pride cause you to shed that innocent blood? Can pride cause you to hate on your brother? Can pride cause you to lie? Can pride cause you to be evil? That's right. That's why I had to be first, bro. It's that gateway, y'all. Pride to have your whole mind upside down. That's right. Thinking you in the right and you wrong. Thinking you well and you sick. That's right. Thinking you're good, man. You down bad, aren't you? Read it again, bro. Verse a, 17. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. We're good. We're good. That's all I wanted to touch on, bro. Now let's go back. First John is 2 and 6. Pride, bro. We need to get that up off of us ASAP. ASAP. We need to get rid of it. ASAP. Read that, bro. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 6. He that said he abided in him. He that say he abideth in Christ. He that say he walked like Christ. Read. Ought himself also to walk even as he walked. So we got to make sure our mind is in accordance with how we move. We got to make sure our mind is in accordance with how we deal. We got to make sure our mind is in accordance with Christ. Read. Brother. I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment, which he had from the beginning. Hold on, hold on. which they had what? Which he had from the beginning. Which we've had this from the beginning, read. The old commandment is the word which he had heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past. Because what? Because the darkness is past. Because that darkness has passed, man. Because Christ made it, uh, made that opportunity for us, man. He said, "Sin no more." I laid it down on the line for you. All you gotta do, man, is follow the follow the footsteps in the sand I gave you, man. You good? Sin no more. He said, "The darkness is past." Read. And the true light. Now shining. And the what? And the true light now shining. And the true light. That true light. What you think that light is? That's right. The light show ain't pride. The light show ain't lies. The light show ain't hate. Ain't deceit. It's that love. That joy. That wantingness to learn, man. Wanting to be the better version of yourself. Wanting to be the best that you can be, man. Not only for yourself, but for your brothers, for your sister, for your family. The light, read. He that said he is in the light and hated his brother. So all those that say I am of the light and hateth his brother, read. Is in darkness, even until now. Is in what? Is in darkness, even until now. He said, man, those that hated their brother are in darkness, even unto now. For pride will cause you to receive that reprobate mind. That's right. Pride will cause you to have that hatred towards your brother. And in your mind, you think you good. In your mind, you think you well off. In your mind, you don't realize that you have been evil. Read it again, bro. Verse uh, 9. Verse 9. He that said he is in the light and hated his brother is in darkness even until now. Read. 
He that loveth his brother abideth in the light. He that loveth his brother is going to abide in the light because now what he's doing is following that example of Christ. He's searching for that light, living in the light, man. Doing the just do. Mind, body, and spirit. Mouth speaketh that of Christ. Read. And there is no occasion of stumbling in him. There is no occasion of stumbling in him if he is walking after Christ, walking in that light. Love it on his brother. Pride nowhere to be seen. Ain't no stumbling for him. But therefore, if he don't have that light, if he does have that hatred, if he does have that pride, it said it is a stumbling. It is a stumbling. Now we all then then stumbled and tripped and then 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 caught ourselves on something before. Whether you be coming up the stairs or you're too late to drag your foot, you done caught it and you then uh, dang the road up the stairs or down the stairs. Walking around your house, you done tripped on some of your uh toy from your child and on the floor, or then tripped over your own feet, so uncoordinated. That's right. But he said stumbling. Stumbling. When our mind, bro, is not in order, bro, it's a stumbling. When that darkness is looming over and we basking in it, that's a stumbling. That's right. Read verse 11. Verse 11. But he that hated his brother is in darkness. He that hated his brother is stumbling. Read. And walketh in darkness. And stumbleth around in the darkness. Read. And knoweth not whether he goeth. And knoweth what? And knoweth not whether he goeth. So if you, right now, the lights get cut off, your eyes have not adjusted to the darkness yet, so you cannot see, you're going to be stumbling around in the dark. But right now, bro, we got brothers and sisters still living in the darkness now in their eyes. Their eyes still have not adjusted. Because they're not looking for the light. They're not trying to seek the light. Read it again, bro. Verse 11. Well, he that hated this brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whether he goeth. Because the darkness has blinded his eyes. What the darkness had did? Has blinded his eyes. Man, we out here trying to plot it our side, man. That's right. We trying to lift that veil, man. We trying to show y'all the light. But it's on you. You got to want it. You got to want to get better. You got to want it. It got to be within your mind, within your heart, within your spirit, man, that you want to follow Christ. That's right. That you want to seek the light. Cause all we can do is give you the give, give you the guidance, man. Give you give you the blueprint, man. We can show you everything, but it's a saying. You can lead that horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. That's right. That's on you. Cause at the end of the day, every knee gonna bow and every mouth gonna confess. So what's your confession gonna be? Hmm. Are you gonna be stumbling your way to Christ? Or are you gonna be walking in the light? Are you going to be, be groping around in darkness trying to see where you're going or you going to walk up? Be seen. Because the light is on you. That pride, bro, that pride leads to a lot of things, man. Give me Proverbs 29 and 22. Get there with you, bro. Proverbs 29 and 22. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29, and verse 22. An angry man stirreth up strife. An angry man stirreth up strife. That's where the hatred gonna come from. The hatred make you angry. The hatred blinds you. Just like that pride, bro, that darkness. Read. And a furious man aboundeth in transgression. Aboundeth in sin. Read. A man's pride. A man's pride. Read. Shall bring him low. Shall do what? Shall bring him low. Read. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. But honor, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. The darkness shall bring you low, and the light will humble the spirit, uplift you, uphold you. There's a there, there, there's your contradictions between the light and the dark. That's right. One gonna bring you down. One gonna build you up. One going to give you eyes to see, and one going to keep you blinded. One going to give you love, one going to give you hate. That's right. One going to be a brother, 
wasn't gonna be an enemy. That's right. Read. Uh, matter of fact, give me John, First John, two and eleven again. Let's go back. Read that again, bro. The book of First John, chapter two and verse eleven. But he that hated this brother is in darkness. And we all know, man, that darkness is that sin. Read. And walketh in darkness. And walketh in sin. Read. And knoweth not whether he goeth. Because that darkness has blinded his eyes. Because that sin has blinded his eyes. But let's see why pride is looked at as that. Give me. Excuse me. Let's see why hate excuse me, is looked at like that. Give me Leviticus 19, 17. Precept we all pulled. We now use on the street corner. We now pull. But are we living by this stuff? Read that out. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. He said, you shall not, man, because there are stipulations towards that hatred. You hate your brother, man. You And we're going we gonna to touch on it. I don't want to jump ahead of myself, but read, bro. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Man, you're going to show that love, man. You're going to let your brother know when they're going wrong, when they're going right. Because you going to love your brother, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So if, if you going off, you're going to... The show wants somebody to steer you right. If you if you not doing right, man, you gonna want somebody to give you the game, man, so you can fix it. That's right. But that pride, man, that pride won't let you take that correction. That pride won't let well, well, especially if it's from somebody, man. You got a covetous or jealous spirit on. I don't like that, bro. I don't like that, sis. Brother in leadership, he don't need to be in leadership. That's supposed to be my chair. That's right. Read it again, bro. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Man, I didn't I, 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 I been in I, I didn't been in this walk man for four years. I ain't been in leadership. He get in here and a year later he 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 attacked. Mm. What that say about you, bro? Mm. Did you ever take the time to reflect on yourself? Mm. Examine yourself? What you been doing in this walk this long to where the most high ain't giving you no growth? Mm. Ain't giving you no progression? But now it's it's so much easier to put that blame on somebody else for your problems, for your issues. A lack of accountability. Mm. That pride, bro, that pride blinds you. That pride, uh, that pride keep you from using common sense. Keep you from using logic. Right. Keep you in the dark. Read, bro. And not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt thou shalt not avenge nor bear bear any grudge. Against the children of thy people. That pride, bro, would cause you to hold a grudge, man, from the 9 9 to the 2000. That's right. I, I have you had that backpack full of BS, man. That's right. Oh, man, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't appreciate how that, how that brother tried to try to show me love, man, and let me know I was going wrong. Now, I, I, ain't, I don't like how that brother doing it. Rocking the backpack. Man, man, I don't appreciate how, how, how clean that, that, that garment is, man. I should have had that. That should have been mine. Rock in the backpack. That's right. Man, why he why he up there teaching, man? I'd have been here five years. I should be on the street corner teaching, man. He just got here. Rock in the backpack. It's a stumbling block, bro. It's holding you back. It's keeping you from growth, bro. That pride opened the door for everything else. That pride, bro. Relinquish that pride, man. Let it go. Read, bro. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Hello, hello, but they gonna do what? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's the example Christ left. That's right. That's what Christ did. That's the light that we're supposed to be seeking. That's the light we're supposed to be living in. That's the light we're supposed to be shining. <laughs> Y'all don't hear it. Let's go back, man. John 2 and 12. 1 John 2 and 12, man. Read my fact, read 11 again. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 11. But he that hated this brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. Because what? Because your sins are forgiven. That's what the whole reason for Christ hitting the scene. Read. You for his name's sake, I write unto you, Fathers, 
because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. Because you have overcome, the opportunity is there. All you got to do is walk the steps laid before you. It's there. It's there, bro. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't like your job, man, beating you down the back, man. You got to come in at, 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 at 6 in the morning and leave at, 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 at 11 p.m. It ain't on you like that. Ain't no stipulations behind it where you not winning in the end. It's there, bro. Take it. Oh, wait, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you how to love? Right. It's not a problem. Oh, wait, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you how to think? Oh, that's not a problem. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show you how to have everything in order so when situations and problems arise, you got everything good. Right. Oh, it's going to give you order in your life? What's wrong with that? Bro, that's a win-win situation. Well, we don't look at it like that. Man, he say present your body as a living sacrifice, bro. That's right. That's all you doing. You'll, 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 you'll take that same time and that same energy, man, and put it towards something that's going to kill you. Mind, body, and spirit. Going to make you an enemy, man, to somebody you called your partner. To somebody you called your brother. Somebody you called your sister. Somebody you called your ace. Well, now you got to do is love. Love worketh no ill. But hate. Bro, hate to keep you up at night. Mm. Right. Hate to keep you from thinking straight. That's right. Hate to keep you blinded. That's right. Hate to plug up your ears where you can't hear the right, the logical. Keep you from listening to common sense. Something that's already within you. Read, bro. I write unto you, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. That's Christ, man. That's the light. That's the door we should be knocking on. Read. I have written unto you, young men. Because ye are strong. Because what? Ye are strong. Because what? Ye are strong. You are strong, man, when you are with the most high and the sun. That's all your strength. You have no worries, no issues, no courage because you're good. He said, because ye are strong, read. And the word of God abideth in you. And ye have overcome the wicked one. And what's going to happen? Ye have overcome the wicked one. And when you have that light, bro, you can overcome all BS. You can spot it from a distance. Yep, nope, I'm not dealing with it. Heisman over here, Heisman over there. But that pride, bro, that pride blind everything. I put, I put a 10 in sports reference, bro. You got that pride on you. You call yourself running the ball, bro. You get blindsided because what? Your vision ain't clear. Cool. That's right. Y'all ain't trying to hear about it, bro. Israel love pride, bro. They love darkness. They love controversy. They love sin, man. Give me 1 John 3 and 11. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 11. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning. This is that same message from the beginning, man. Read. That we should love one another. That we should what? That we should love one another. That we should love one another, man. Pride ain't going to give you that. Pride going to cause you to hate. Read. Not as Cain. Hello, hello, what? Not as Cain. Not as what? Not as Cain. Read. Who was that wicked one and slew his brother. He did what? And slew his brother. That's what that pride do, bro. That pride causes that hatred. That pride causes you, brother, to slay your brother. Bearing false witness. Putting your hands on him. Talking down on him. In the lick. Any, any kind of negative outcome you can think of, pride is going to leave that door open for you to walk right through and leave you right in the dark. Read, bro. And wherefore slew he him 
Because his own works were evil. Because what? His own works were evil. Me. And his brothers righteous. Marvel not, my brother. If the world hate you, we know that we have passed from death unto life. Because we love the brother. Because what? We love the brother. Me. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. So if you don't love on your brother, if you don't love on your sister, you abide in death. That means you live, eat, sleep, wake up, lay down, do everything in death. Darkness. That don't necessarily have to be physical death. Your spirit, bro, can be so disgusting right. that nobody want to deal with you. That nobody want to speak to you. That nobody want to be around you because that spirit you got on you is cancerous. He said, man, you will abide in death. Read. Whosoever hated this brother is a murderer. Is a what? Is a murderer. Is a what? Is a murderer. So when you got that hatred on you, it's like you done murdered your brother. When you got that hatred on you, you done murdered your sister. So, bro, I think it's time, man. You, you relinquish that pride, bro. Let that hate go. Because it ain't going to do nothing but open the door for something else. That pride don't lead to that hatred now. It may open the door for you to lie. It may open the door for you to steal. It may open the door for you to slay your brother. Many options with this pride that's going to lead you straight to death. Because it said you abide in it. Read 15 again, bro. Verse 15. Whosoever hated this brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. He said that murderer hath no eternal life abiding in him. Meaning when every knee going to bow and every mouth going to confess, bro, you're going to come up on the shout in of the stick. It's time, man. It's time to shake back, bro. It's time, man. It's too many, it's too many positive examples out here, bro. It's too many. And it's, it's a lot of negative ones as well. That's right. That's right. But at the same time, bro, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, bro, you can uh, 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 sift through the BS. Give me First John 2 and 14. Let's go back. Read that, dude. The book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 14. I have written unto you, Father, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong. And the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world. Hello, what did it say? Love not the world. Read. Neither the things that are in the world. <clears throat> so when they say love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, man, that pride go in with that. That lust of the flesh, that carnal. Everything negative. That's right. Anything bad you can think of, man. That's part of that world. And it's bad enough, bro. Ain't no love out you to begin with. So why cripple yourself? Bro, pride can open that door, bro, to the stress, bro, to where your body starts failing you, your hair falling out, you aging. That's why. Right. Putting so much stress and wear and tear on your body. All because your mind done for. If you destroy the mind. What you think gonna happen to the body? That's right. This is literally a driving force. Your brain tell your heart to beat. Your brain tell your lungs to to breathe, to, to inhale and exhale air. So if this ain't right, bro, the whole system out of work. Just like if your car engine don't work, how you going to drive it? That's right. I don't, I don't give a damn if you got a brand new battery in it. I don't give a damn if you got a brand new alternator, brand new starter, new spark plug. If the engine ain't working, you ain't moving, buddy. That's right. So if this ain't in order, bro, you abide in death. Read 15 again, bro. Verse 15. Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, 
the love of the Father is not in him. So if any man live in darkness, that light is nowhere in him, bro, because that is the love of the Father. Read. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eye, hmm. and the pride of life. And the what? And the pride of life. And the what? And the pride of life. Read. It is not of the Father. None of that is of the Father. Again, they say these six things that I hate, yay, have no abomination. That proud look open the door for everybody. That's right. Read. But it's of the world. And the world passeth away. And the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God. But he that walk in the light. He that follow the footsteps of Christ. Read. But he that follow the will of God. Doeth the will of God. Shall I give? Abide it forever. He does what? Abide it forever. Man, why not seek that? Why not let that be your end game, man? Well done, my good and faithful servant. Give me Sirach 10 and 6. Go ahead, man. The book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse 6. Bear not hatred to thy neighbor. Hello, what do you say? Bear not hatred to thy neighbor. Read. For every wrong. He said, bear not that hatred, bro. Because that hatred, bro, stems from that pride. Read. And do nothing at all by injurious practices. Pride is hateful. <laughs> he said, what? Pride is hateful. Read it one more time, bro. Pride is hateful. Read. Before God and man. He said, pride is hateful before God and man. Read. And by duck both does one commit iniquity. He said, by that. You're going to commit iniquity. Because again, pride is one of those six things, right? Pride will cause you to live in darkness. Pride will blind you. Pride will cause you to abide in death. That iniquity, those transgressions. Read. Because unrighteousness, dealing, injury. Hold on, hold on. Read that again, bro. Because of unrighteous dealings, injury, and riches. God by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. Why is earth and ashes proud? He said, man, why is earth and ashes proud? Why is that low estate that we live in, man, when our mind, bro, is like that? Why are you proud? You have nothing. Read. There is not a more wicked that thing than a covetous man. And that pride, bro, will lead right to that same spirit, bro. Right? Pride, bro. You know how I many people done died off of pride? Real live business got their candle blew out. That's right. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't gonna outdo me. Nah, nah, nah. Bro, you ain't got the skills to, to, to complete the, the task at hand. That's right. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. He ain't gonna outshine me. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 bro. He, he, he ain't just gonna get away with that. Nah, nah, nah. Or he could have been a bigger man, bro, and ended everything. But pride, bro, pride of cause you go pick that pistol up. Mm. Pride right. of cause you to, to 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 ask for that Addy. You pull up, you done came to this man's spot. So of course he gonna pull this pistol out. You got you, you you must be stupid. A man tell you come to his place and you come? Mm. Bro, you, you you need to get your candle blown out. Mm. But that pride, bro, that pride ain't gonna, ain't gonna give you the hindsight to think about, bro. If I go over here, bro, I am going into unfamiliar territory. I'm coming on this man property. I'm his in. I, I'm li literally looked at as the aggressor, the threat. So if the laws get brought into the picture, who's gonna be in the right? Who's gonna be in the wrong? If you get put to sleep, because your pride won't let you see. Self defense. Slap on the wrist. Brother still living with his family. Brother still chilling with his children. You sleep. Count them gone. Mm. And left and left your fam family with, with, with the, 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 the funeral issues and left them with debt. Then left them all kind of upside down. Destroyed your family. But yeah, I thought you loved the people. Bro, pride causes you to do stupid things, bro. Mm. Pride causes stupidity, brother, to be right in the forefront. Pride to have that same person that you call your brother, that same person that you call your sister. Yeah, man, that that, that my a one day one cause you to have hatred, bro. 
not even want to take five, ten minutes, bro, to have an actual man-to-man conversation, a real discord. I mean, a, a a real conversation. Talk to your sister, have a real conversation, bro. Iron out everything, bro. Now, prior college, you go and be that knucklehead. Read nine again, bro. Verse nine. Why is earth and ashes brown? There is not a more wicked thing than a cover to his man. For such an one setteth his own soul. He said, he said, one setteth his own soul. Read. To sail. To what? To sail. To what? To sail. Read. Because while he liveth, he casteth away his vow. While he liveth, he casteth away his life, bro. Pride will cause you to throw your life away. But that's what you do. You pull up because you ask the man for his addy. That's right. Come to this man job. Come to this sister job with this foolishness. And then be upset that you walking away looking like Martin when he fought Tommy Hearn. <laughs> that's right. Bro, pride, bro. Pride will lead you straight to that butt whooping, bro. Time to shake back. Let's go back. Give me Proverbs 26 and 12. Let me get there what you do. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 26 and verse 12. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? He say, man, a, wi- a man that's wise in his own conceit, man, wise in his own eyes, read. There's more hope of a fool than of him. <laughs> Hello, read the part again. Seest thou, thou a man wise in his own conceit? See that that man got pride that he can't see, that he can't use common sense, that he can't use no, uh, uh, logic. Read. There's a more hope of a fool <laughs> than of him. He say there is more hope for a fool than there is for a man with pride. That's right. There is more hope for a fool. And a man with pride, bro, pride literally, bro, it kills all function. And opens the door to all negative. Bro. Let's go back. First John 2 and 18, bro. Read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 18. Little children, it is the la- it is the last time. And as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. I love that what? That Antichrist shall come. And pride will turn you into that Antichrist. Bro. Because right. if you're not walking in the light, if you're not following after Christ, therefore what is the other option? Because you're not going to be doing anything positive. You're going to be doing everything negative. Everything outside of the realm of Christ. Everything outside of the realm of the Most High. Everything outside of the realm of positivity. And proud to cause you to be that Antichrist. Because again, if Christ loved his brother, the Antichrist what? Don't hate his brother. That's right. If the Christ spoke truth, the Antichrist is going to do what? Lie. And so on and so forth. That's how cold pride is, bro. That's right. That's how cold that hatred is, bro. That's how cold that darkness is. Read. Even now, are there many antichrists? And he say, what? Even now, are there many antichrists? And even now, are there many? Because ain't nothing new under the sun. Brother still got that foul man and, 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 and disgusting spirit. Read. Whereby we know... That it is the last time. They went out from us, but they were not of us. Hello, he said they went out from us, but they are not of us, because we are of Christ. Read. For if they had been of us. Before if they had been of us, meaning been in the light, meaning following after the footsteps of Christ, meaning seeking the light, living that positive life, showing that love, showing that love. Read. They would no doubt. Have continued with us. It would have been no doubt that you continue with us. But you got to think about it. The light cannot be with the dark. The dark cannot be with the light. The spirit lusteth against the flesh, right? And the flesh against the spirit, right? Read. 
But they went out. That they might be made manifest. That they were not of all of us. But ye have un an unction. An unction from the Holy One. And ye know all things. Because these were from the beginning, read. I have not written unto you, because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar? But he that denied that Christ, that Yahweh is the Christ. Because that's what pride will do, bro. Pride will cause your whole state of mind, bro, to do a 180. That's right. A complete 180. Go right back into the world, bro, and have death looming over you. Go right back into the world, bro, and be a monster. Go right back into the world, bro, and, 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 and just have nothing but negativity. Go right back into the things that ran you to Christ to begin with. Pride is very dangerous. Read. He is anti-Christ. That denied the Father and the Son. Hold up. So when you have that hatred, when you have that pride, when you have these things that open the door towards that negative spirit, bro, he said, they what? They, they deny what? Denied the Father and the Son. Whosoever denied the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledged the Son. But he that acknowledged the Son, read. Hath the Father also. So when you deny you are putting yourself in that darkness. When you acknowledge, you are putting yourself in the light. Think about that, bro. Pride will cause you to deny Christ. To deny the most high. Because again, we're supposed to follow after the example of Christ. Christ loved on this earth. Loved on this earth. Right. Even for the brothers and sisters that wanted him dead, bro, to still rock it. And my kinfolk, bro. One little argument, one little one, one little miscommunication, one little one little issue, bro, and, and, and five years of you calling that brew your brew, bro, you throw that down the drain. Five years of you calling that sister your sis, bro, you throw it down the drain. That means you <laughs> you weren't following Christ to begin with. That's right. That means you was out here faking and shaking. Putting on the front. Masked up. And then that situation revealed. Snatch that mask off your face. Let the real brute, let the real sister be revealed. Read 24, boo. Verse 24. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. Man, bro. You cannot continue. You cannot grow. You cannot move forward, bro, without the Most High the Son. You cannot move forward, bro, with a foul spirit. You cannot move forward in the darkness. It's going to continue to be that stumbling. And it's going to continue to be that roadblock for you to reach Christ. Because therefore, it's going to make you the anti -Christ. That's right. Bro, time, bro. Time to repent. Real talk. Real talk. It's time, bro. It's time to let go of your grudges. It's time to get that pride off of you thinking that you this, thinking that you that, and you're nothing. Right. Because the Most High has been showing you time and time again that the person that's been thinking himself nothing got, I mean, thinking himself something got nothing to show for it. That's right. I I I I've been in the truth ten years, man. I should be a bishop, and, and but yet you you want to be a member, bro. Bro, it's time to get that that that, that wickedness out your mind, bro. It's time to let that that light shine, bro. Give me Proverbs 16 and 1. Let me get that with you. Book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 1. Read that. The book of Proverbs chapter 16 
and verse 1. The preparation of the heart is man, in man, and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. That is how deceitful pride can be. You can see yourself as did no wrong, bro. You clearly the reason for the problem to even be here to be a problem, but you don't see yourself as the issue. You don't see what you did wrong. You don't see that you are the only one that can make it right. Read that. Read, read, read it again, bro. Verse two. All the ways of of a man are clean in his own eyes. The darkness will therefore be the light, and the light will therefore be the dark. <laughs> good for evil, evil for good, sweet for bitter, bitter for sweet. For a whole reprobate, whole one eighty. Read it again, bro. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord weigh the way the spirit. He said the Lord bro gonna weigh that spirit. The Lord gonna check that spirit. The Lord gonna give you what you want. You want that pride, brother? You want you want that destruction, you want that hatred? Okay. We're gonna get into it. Read. Verse three. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord had the Lord hath made all things for himself. He said the Lord hath made all things for himself, read. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Even the wicked for the day of evil. So my question is, what side of the fence you want to be on, dude? Right. <laughs> you want to be that wicked that's set up for the day of evil, or you want to be that brother that's going to make it? You want to be that sister that's going to make it? You want to be that boo? Which one? Which one? The choice is yours, man. Choose you this day, bro. Choose you this day. Read. Everyone that is proud in heart. Everyone that is proud in heart. Everyone mind is filled with darkness. Read. Is an abomination is to what, the Lord. Is what? An abomination to the Lord. He say is an abomination. Six things that we hate. Yea, seven are an abomination. Read. Though hand join in hand. He shall not be unpunished. He say you shall not be unpunished for that wicked and foul spirit, bro. If that pride opens the door to everything else. So pride is very dangerous, bro. Read. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. So when you don't want to depart, when you don't want to relinquish that pride, bro, you have no fear for the most time. You have no love. You have no mercy. You have no nothing. All you got is death and darkness. Read. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Bro, where your peace at? Where it's at? Because even that brew that you showing that hatred to, that brew going to continue to be a loving brew. That's and right. guess what? <laughs> what you trying to do ain't going to never prosper. Because guess who he got rocking behind him? The power. He said his enemy is going to be at peace. So if you show yourself to be an enemy to that brother, bro, you've now made yourself an enemy to the most high in his own. Right. Because that's who you're going to have to deal with. That's who's going to be putting them knots on your head like Tommy Hearn. That's right. Read, bro. Better is a little with righteousness. Then great revenues without right. Read. A man heart devises his way. He said a man heart devises his way. That, that dark mind, right? Read. But the Lord directed his steps. But the Lord is going to direct his steps. Again, man. Go back. Read verse 14 again. Verse 14. I mean, I'm, uh, verse 4, excuse me. Verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. Yea. Even the wicked for the day of evil. So again, he said, a man's heart devises his weight, right? But the Lord directed his steps. So he made all things, yea, even the things evil for that day, right? Jump over and give me one in 30. Proverbs 1 and 30. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 30. So if you want to live your life 
with that pride. If you want to live your life with that backpack full of, full of those rocks that's continuing to cause you to stumble, that's continuing to stunt your progression, that's continuing to keep your growth at the bottom, at the nothing, read. Verse 30. They want none of my reproof. They despise all my reproof. Hold up, hold up. Read 30 again. They want none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. That counsel, bro, that reproof. That's the word, bro. That's that brother that the most I put there to tell you, hey, bro, I don't, I don't, that ain't lining up with how we supposed to be moving, huh? Hey, sis, that, that don't sound right. That don't sound like Christ. But that pride, bro, that pride not going to let you accept that you're wrong. That pride not going to let you accept that you need to change. That pride not going to let you accept, bro, that you in the wrong. Read. Therefore, Shall they eat of the fruit of their own way? They're going to do what? Eat of the fruit of their, of their own way. So again, he said he made it, even the things wicked for that evil day. You're going to eat the fruit of your own doings. Read. And be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearkens unto me. But whosoever hearken, whosoever follow, whosoever listen, whosoever uh, find and seek the light, whosoever love his brother, love his neighbor, read. Shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. Bro, what more, bro? What more needs to be said, bro, for you to change your outlook? Bro, let that go. Bro, pride is causing nothing but BS, bro. And in the end, you're going to eat the fruits of your bone. So if you hate that brother, you hate that sister, that pride causing you to lie, that pride causing you to steal, bro, that pride causing you to, 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 to bear false witness, to lie on that man's name, to lie on that sister's name, bro, to call all kind of strife and problems, that's best believe, bro, you're going to have to eat that. You're going to have to eat all of it. Because these are the decisions you chose to make. So the most high will give you what you want. Let's go back. Give me Romans 12 and 9. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 9. Let love be without dis dissimulation. They say, let love be without dissimulation. Read. Let love be without dissimulation. He said, let it be without hypocrisy, bro. Let it not be be that hypocrite. Read. Abhor that is which is evil. He say, abhor that which is evil, bro. And we've all we we've established, bro, that 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 pride, bro, is evil. Read. Cleave to that which is good. He say, cleave to the light, bro. That darkness, bro, that which is evil. Read. Be kindly affectionate one to another. Be kindly affectionate one to another. Read. With brotherly love. With what? With brotherly love. Bro, that pride gonna cause you not to have that brotherly love, bro. That pride gonna cause you to look at your brother as your enemy. That pride is gonna make you not wanna do nothing. Your brother extending his hand, man, trying to be a brute, but you pushing it to the side, man. I ain't trying to deal with this nigga. Excuse my language. I ain't trying to deal with this Negro. That's what he do. Right. But yet, if you're gonna be like Christ, he say, be kindly affectionate one to another. With brotherly love. Read. And honor. Preferring one another. Not slothful in business. Hold up, hold up. That pride will cause you to be what? Not slothful in business. So if you feel like you should be in this position, and now your pride got you like, man, I'm, this is supposed to be me. Guess what you're going to do? Man, I ain't about to do nothing, man. I ain't, I ain't in the position I wanted. I'm about to chill. Right. I'm about to Cadillac. Guess what, bro? You ain't got no job no more. Hmm. You ain't got no hustle. But how you gonna bring your hands meat? How you gonna fill that fridge? How you build when you take a family? Don't let you have a family, bro. How you, how you gonna take care of your family? What you gonna do when your son or your daughter tell you, Daddy, Daddy, I'm hungry. Mommy, Mommy, I'm hungry. What you gonna do then? Feed them earth sandwiches? Or that pride, bro, that pride will cause you to lose everything. We already got a little bit of nothing. You're going to lose that. 
Because you call yourself knowing it all. You call yourself being something that you're not. Bro, that pride, bro, that pride is very dangerous, man. Read. Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, disrupting to the necessity of saints, giving to hospitality. Man, this is what you're supposed to be doing, bro. This is how your spirit is supposed to be moving. Let's go back. 1 John 2 and 24. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 24. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. These are the things, bro. These are the things, man. Abiding in that brotherly love, bro. These are the things of the Father and the Son. Read. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. He said concerning them that seduce you, bro. That pride, bro. Read. But the anointing which ye have received from, from him abideth in you. And ye have and ye need not that any man teach you. But at but as the same anointing teaches you a lot of things. Read that part again, bro, and read it slow. But as the same anointing teaching you of all things and is truth and is no lie and even as it had taught you now now read it from the top bro. read 27 from the top and read it slow verse 27 but the anointing which you have received of him but, of, but the anointing that you have received of him read abideth in you abideth in you read and ye need not let any man teach you. And you need not any man teach you. That man is going to be your dad to Christ. That man is going to be not anointed. That man is going to be that devil in your mind. That man is going to cause you to use that pride, bro. But read. But as the same anointing teaches you. But the same anointing teaching you. But that same brother that abideth in the light. But that same brother that walk after Christ. Read. Teaches you of all things. And it's true, and it's no lie. And even as it had taught you, you shall abide in him. Bro, that's what the spirit is going to do. That's what the light is going to do, bro. You are going to be surrounded by everything you need. All the positivity, all the love, everything you could possibly need, bro. The most high is going to make it readily available for you. For people, everything you need. Not the things that you want in the world, bro. The things that you need. Give me Proverbs 6 and 6. Uh, excuse me, 6 and 17. Uh, 16 17, excuse me. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 17. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. So, the footsteps of Christ, bro, shows you to depart from evil. Read. He that keepeth his way preserveth his soul. So, he that followeth after that light, he that seeketh after that light, he that applieth that eye salve, he said, preserveth his soul. Read. Pride goeth before destruction. But what pride do? Pride goeth before destruction. Read. And a haughty spirit before it fall. And an arrogant spirit. Read. Better is it to be of an humble spirit. Say, better it is to be of that humble spirit. Read. With the lowly. Than to divide the spoil with the proud. Because again, man, you know what the spoil of the proud is going to be. You're going to eat the fruits of your doing. He said it's better to be a fool. Than to be a fool. I'm telling you, bro. The scriptures, bro. It's you. It's you. This is why these examples are here. It's you. When you read this book, you reading you. And why not take the guidance, bro? This right there. This is only the foot to make you better. So that means if you don't want to get better, that means you don't love yourself. If you don't love yourself, what good are you for your family? That's if right. you got a family. 
for your wife, for your son? What good are you for the person that you call your brew, that you go to war with, that you call yourself putting in bricks with? What good are you? Because if you don't love yourself, how are you going to love them? Read 19 again. Verse 19. Better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to buy the spoil with the proud. He that handles the matter wisely shall find good. And whosoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. He said what? Whoever so, whosoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. Whosoever trusteth in the Lord, who has that hope, who is following the light, who will follow in those footsteps in the sand, bro. Left by Christ, he said, happy is he. When you pride, we got that pride on you, bro. That pride gonna cause you to have all of these negative emotions, all of these negative thoughts, all of these negative decisions, bro. You're not gonna be happy. That's right. You're not gonna have peace. You're not gonna have nothing. You're gonna be upset, torn, turmoil. <laughs> Ice box where your heart used to be, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just saying, man, pride will do that to you. That's right. The hatred will do that to you. <laughs> Why not, bro? Why not see God, bro? Why not see Christ, bro? Why subjugate uh, subjugate yourself to these things? Bro, Christ laid it all on the line, bro, for, for your walk to be easy. Why continue to put stumbling blocks in front of you? Why set up a roadblock to keep you from that happiness? Which is Christ. The life. Most high in the sun. And try to do that. Because when you have that on you, it again opens the door for everything else. And when you are doing everything else aside outside of the most high and sun, bro, you have created yourself now an anti. That's hard. I mean you need to be doing some self reflection. But only if you want to change. Because if not, you're going to have to eat the fruits of your doing. So what's your work been looking like? Let's go back. First John 3 and 16. Matter of fact, read 15 first. The book of First John chapter 3 and verse 15. Whosoever hated this brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive the love of God. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Because he had laid down his life for us. He did what? He had he laid down his life for us. He made it to where we'd be good, man. Read. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. Hello. Read that part again. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Because he laid down his life for us. So Christ did that, right, Reed? And we ought to lay down our lives for the brother. He said, bro, if you're going to follow Christ, bro, you're going to do as Christ do. So that pride, bro, that pride going to lead to that hatred, bro. That hatred going to lead you to not to want to be around your boot. Not to want to lay your life down for your boot. Not to want to be that help for your boot, man. Want to cause strife, so see the discourse. Read. But whoso, whoso had this world's good... And see if this brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him. How do we the love of God in him? All he's saying is, bro, if you if you in a position, bro, and you not being that brother, not showing that love, bro, he said, how God gonna be in you? How? Because you think yourself to be something, and in the end, you're not. That's why it's just as easy as you got it, it's just as easy as you can lose it. Read. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue. He said, let us not love in word, neither in tongue. Because you can tell your brother you all day, bro, and hate him in, in your mind. Faking the phone. Fugazi. Read it again, bro. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. But in deed and in truth, in your walk and in your spirit. Read. 
and hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our heart. Oh, look. Finish that. Finish 28. And knoweth all things. Give me Romans 12 and 14. The book of Romans chapter 12 verse 14. Read that, bro. The book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 14. Yeah, man. We're supposed to follow Christ, right? Read. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. And weep with them that weep. Their pride ain't going to have you do that. Their pride not going to have you do that. That's right. Their pride going to cause you to want to be an enemy. They're probably going to look at your brother as an enemy. They're probably going to have you looking at your sister as an enemy. They're probably going to cause you to be the Antichrist. Read. Be of the same mind, one toward another. Here it is again, man. Be of the same mind. Read. Mind not high things, but consent to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. He said, be not wise, man, in your own eyes, bro, in your own mind. Read. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Hold on, hold on. What do you say, dude, bro? Recompense to no man evil for evil. That's going to be hard when you got that pride on you because that pride going to make it seem like you did nothing wrong. That pride going to make you render that evil for evil. Read. Provide things honest in the sight of our man. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you. Live peaceably with all men. He said, man, that's the only way you're going to be able to live peace, uh, peaceably, bro, if you got if you got that light on you. You're walking in the light. Read. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, said the Lord. He said, man, the Lord going to give them they just do. We get their pride, bro. Nah, man, I got it. He, he, he got to get laid down now. See that pride, bro. Again, you, you asking for that addy, you get that addy, you get that bullet. You get that beat down. You get that checking. Read. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heat coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil. But overcome evil with good. He say, but overcome evil with good. Think about it, bro. Christ, our own brothers and sisters, man, wanted to blow his candle out. Did he operate in any negative manner? No, he still was giving the game. He still was letting you know what it is. He still was being that brother. So if we're going to follow Christ, bro, we're going to have to follow these steps. Go back. Give me first John three and nineteen. The book of first John chapter three verse nineteen. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our hearts condemn us, God is greater than our heart, and knoweth all things. But love, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. He said, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence towards God. He say, for if our heart condemn us, God is greater than that. We know with all things, bro. Put your faith in the most high. Don't let that dark spirit take over. Read. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Because we keep his commandment. And do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is the commandment. That we should believe on the name of his son, Christ. That we should believe on the name belief is an action read and love one another and what and love one another what that belief do and love one another read as he gave us commandment and he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him what that belief do and he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him read and he in him and hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he has given us. So if you don't have that same spirit, bro, if you're not moving in that same fashion, you can't say that you know God. You can't say that you love him. You can't say that you are upstanding, bro, that you in the light. Because that right there just show you if you're not following that, are you in darkness. That's right. Deceiving their own selves. Let's go back to Sirach. 
chapter 10, verse 12. Read that book. The book of Sirach, chapter 10, and verse 12. The beginning of pride is when when one departed from God. He said the beginning of pride is when one depart from God. Read. And his heart is turned away from his maker. That makes you the antichrist, bro. Read it again, bro. The beginning of pride is when one departs from God and his heart is turned away from his maker. Read. For pride is the beginning of sin. For what? For pride is the beginning of sin. For pride opens the door for you to be in darkness. Read. And he that hateth it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord brought up on them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Man. Huh. Again, bro. Israel. The pride, bro. That pride, bro. The most I had to check. And even now to this day, we ain't taking heed to those examples. We still running around like a chicken with our head cut off, bro. That's right. So therefore, we still dealing with strange calamities. We still getting overthrown utterly. Read. The Lord had cast down the thrones of proud, proud princes. He said he cast down the thrones of proud princes. Ones that think of themselves to be something, but in the end, they nothing. Bro, you want the seat? i gladly give it to you, bro. But the thing is, bro, are you going to be able to do what we have to do? Mm. Are you going to be able to sacrifice yourself, bro? Are you going to be able to take the time and attend to the sheep? Are you going to be able to set everything in order, bro? Are you going to be able to move in the fashion? Or you just want the seat? You just want the title? Mm. Because you didn't been here for so long. Bro, that pride to have you thinking you can be Superman, bro. Mm. And show yourself to be nothing. Read 13 again. I mean, uh, 14, excuse me. Verse 14. The Lord hath cast down the throne of proud princes and set up the meek in their state. He said he cast down the throne of proud princes. Got rid of Saul, bro, and put David in action. Mm. Mm. Read. The Lord hath plucked up the roots of proud nations. And planted the lowly in their place. The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. He said he, <laughs> he overthrew the countries of the heathens. <laughs> Guess who those heathens were? Mm. You. That's right. Because of your pride. Because of your arrogance. Because of your lies. Because of your idolatry. Because of your darkness. The iniquities. Read. He took some of them away and destroyed them and had made their memorial to cease from the earth. Pride was not made for men. They say pride was what? Pride was not made for men. They say pride was not made for men. But yeah, we take it on gladly. We utilize it daily. Read. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. That they that fear the Lord are a sure seed. He say they that fear the Lord are a sure seed because they are going to make sure everything is in order. They are going to make sure that they love their brother out there by themselves. They're going to make sure that they live in their life. They're going to make sure that they're getting the right dose of medicine, bro. They're going to they gonna make sure that they're eating the proper bread, drinking the proper waters, using their eyes to see and their ears to hear, being that brute. Being that sister, extending that hand, brotherly love, showing that charity. They're going to do that because they're going to follow the footsteps of Christ. Read. And they that love him, an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are dishonorable or a dishonorable seed. He said they that disregard the law are a dishonorable seed. So if you have that pride, bro, that pride on you, bro, you are becoming a dishonorable seed. Because it's just said that pride. Is the beginning, uh, excuse me, the beginning of pride is when one departed from God. It's honorable seed. Read. They that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. They that do not listen. They that do not put into action, bro, the righteousness. 
or dishonorable seed, bro. Deceivable seed. Let's go back. Give me James 4 and 5. We coming to a close. Let's read. Give me the book of James, chapter 4 and verse 5. Let me get there with you, bro. Read that. The book of James, chapter 4 and verse 5. Do you think that the scriptures say it in vain? He said, do you think that the scriptures are giving you these examples in vain? That the scriptures are laying the blueprint for you in vain? That the scriptures are trying to show you how your life can be lived in vain? Read. The spirit that dwelleth in us lusts to envy. That pride, read. But he giveth no more, Shalaki, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisted the proud. He do what? God resisted the proud. God resists the proud, bro. Leave them in outer darkness. Read. But giveth grace unto the humble. He said, God resists the darkness, but giveth grace unto the light. Read. Submit yourselves, therefore. What they need to do? Submit yourselves, therefore. What we calling Israel to do? Submit yourselves, therefore. Hey, bro, bro, if you got that pride on you, bro, I'm asking you today, bro. Submit yourself to God, bro. Right. Hey, sis, I'm asking you if you got that pride on you, bro. Submit yourself to God, sis. Because if not, bro, it's going to open the door for all kind of problems. It's going to open the door for all kind of issues. It's going to open the door, bro, for you to be in sorrow. Mind seared. Read. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. We do what? Resist the devil. Man, let that darkness go, bro. Let that ego go. Read. And he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God. He said, draw near unto the Most High, man. Read. And he will draw nigh unto you. And he will draw unto you. Read. Clean your, clean your hand, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. Man, Christ told you, bro, sin no more, bro. He laid it on the line for you to be good. He laid it on the line for your, for, for, for your path, bro, to be paved. No issues, no problem. Freshly laid pavement. No gravel, no cracks, no potholes, no nothing. Walk so good you can skip. He say, sin no more, bro. Read. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. That's what's going to happen, bro, if you continue to hold on to that darkness. Read 10 again. Verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Bro, it's time, bro. Relinquish that pride, man. Let go of that backpack. Let go of that ego, bro. Let, let, let it go. Let go of the darkness, bro. Apply the eyesight, bro. We're trying to give you the visine, bro. Mm -hmm. We're trying to give you the visine, sis. That's right. Dry eyes, bro. Dry eyes. Everybody seen that commercial. Dry eyes, bro. Take that visine, man. Clear it up. That's right. Give me first John 2 and 28. We are. Uh, read that. The, the book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 28. And now, little children, abide in him. Again, man, humble yourself, man. Submit yourself to God. Read. That when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him. Because every knee gonna bow, man. Every mouth gonna confess. So what's your confession gonna be, bro? What's your confession gonna be, sis? I hated my sister until, the, until this time. I hated my brother until this time. I sowed seeds of discourse until this time. I planted the seed of discourse until this time, bro. I was feeding it the foul bread. I was being a monster, a dragon. Read it again, bro. And not be ashamed before him at his coming. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness it's born of him. So if you follow in the light, bro, you are born of Christ. But if you live in that darkness, you are that antichrist. Bro. That's right. It's time, bro. Stop putting up that roadblock to Christ. Stop, stop, stop uh, uh, crippling yourself. Stop maiming yourself in this walk, bro. As you continue to have these evil and dark spirits on you, bro, you continue to have this defiled mind, bro. Every step you take, you stumbling around in the darkness, not getting nowhere. Walking in circles. Yeah. It's time, man. Repent, bro. Let it go. Let it go, bro, and grab on God. Submit yourself. And on that, we say shalom.